Hi everyone, I can't believe I am already talking to you about week six on the Milestone 3 assignment, which is due this week. As I'm sure you all know, it's down here in Module 6, and I'm going to click on the Milestone 3 Guidelines and Rubric just to walk you through a couple of pointers. So, um, first of all, you're going to notice that there is a new prompt as there has been for each milestone, right? So milestone one, you did your introduction. Milestone two, you did the analysis. Milestone three, you're gonna take your introduction and your analysis. It's still gonna be compiled into one document, just like you turned in for your milestone two, and you're gonna add your discussion. So it's all going to be in one document. You're still gonna include your title page, your references, so everything you've done up to this point it's going to be one big document that you're going to submit. And I'm going to talk a little bit more in detail about that discussion portion in a moment. But right now I kind of want to talk about just the big picture. So if you scroll down to the rubric, um, you might notice some things that you're kind of used to, right? That once again, you know what font and the fact that things should be in APA, which by this point should definitely be old news. Um, the estimated length is longer this time because now you've got three sections instead of just two. And, but if you look at the actual rubric itself, um, you're going to notice some things that are familiar. Um, first of all, you're going to notice you get graded for the timeliness, you know, your initial post, whether it was on time, one day late, or two or more days late. And then, of course, the same thing you've seen before, um, when you provide your peer feedback, um, whether it was relevant and meaningful, you know, relevant with some explanation or somewhat relevant. Nobody's gotten stuff. I mean, unless you just didn't make your post, nobody's, like, down here as far as the generic, for the most part. Um, I will say that, you know, as I've said many times, you guys have done a really great job of overall making very relevant posts, but it's still kind of been occurring a little bit more than I'd like in just a handful of cases. Um, remember saying, hey, you did a great job is not relevant enough, or saying, I really love your topic. I can relate to it in this manner. That's awesome, and I love that you're making a personal connection. But remember the point of the peer feedback process is for us to get feedback on our actual papers. So some of us have kind of ended up, you know, down in here, sometimes instead of exemplary or 100% of our points, because our, um, our feedback wasn't really related to you know, the, the feedback for the paper that your peer wrote. Um, another thing I want to add is the writing mechanics. Um, in particular, um, the APA formatting. You know, once again, just like before, you're being graded on that. At this point, I have given you feedback about your APA through two milestones. So at this point, I'm going to assume, like, you've got it. Um, you're either taking my feedback at this point or you're not. Um, it takes me a while to grade these because I literally sit down with all the information, like your original papers, the rubrics I used the first couple of times. So I see what advice I've already given you. And if I've told you two different times, hey, your end citation, you know, needs this. Um, at this point, I'm not going to give you any more advice on that during this milestone three um, before your final paper because I've already told you twice. If you see my feedback from those first two milestones and you're like, I don't see it. You told me my end citation is wrong, but I can't figure out what's wrong with it. Of course, I am happy to address those questions individually. Those of you who have emailed me know I, I respond very quickly or you can put it on the discussion board. Um, but at this point, I'm simply going to grade wherever you are, especially as far as APA at this point, because um, I've already kind of tried to give you some guidance to fix those mistakes a couple of times. Um, I really wait for the first couple of times to start taking off major points because I get it. It's hard. Um, APA is a really big pain. Um, but at this point, you know, I'm happy to answer individual questions, but not really putting a lot of guidance out there anymore. Now, aside from those things that seem like old news, um, the part that might look a little interesting to you is the initial post. Because in the other rubrics, 
there's been a lot more to the initial post. It's been divided up into categories. Um, and look at how you're getting graded this time. So you're either going to get a proficient, proficient, like the highest you can get, 100% of your points. Um, so you include an attachment of your milestone with an introduction, analysis, and discussion sections. So you're literally getting 100% of your points for just attaching all three pieces of your paper. And of course, the introduction was done during your milestone one, analysis during your milestone two, discussion will be added. I'll talk to you about that in a few minutes. Um, so just attaching a document that's got all three pieces you're getting your points, okay? There's no judgment here at this point for the quality as far as your grade is concerned. And then you'll still get most of your points um, for attaching a milestone three, but maybe leaving a section out. So a couple of you guys did for your milestone two, not include your introduction. Please make sure you do that. That's very important that that's included. So you could be missing a section or two, but still get at least 70% of your points needs improvement. Literally the only way you're getting a zero is if you don't post an attachment of your milestone three period, okay? So some of us, definitely not you guys, I'm sure, because you've been such a wonderful class, but some people might say, man, so basically all I have to do is attach something that has, you know, all three pieces of my paper and, you know, the, the title page and the reference page I've already done, and I don't really have to worry all that much about the quality of my work this week, and my grade is still going to be good. And to be honest, that's kind of true, um, according to the rubric that I'm going to use this week. But let me explain to you now why that might not be the best approach. So this week, week six, is what I call kind of like the dress rehearsal for the final project. As I'm sure you know, your very final, final paper is due next week in week seven. And this is the rubric for the final paper. So keep in mind, don't anybody panic. This is not, you know, for this week, this is week seven. But it's important that you get a glimpse of what's in the future. Okay, and I'm gonna be, you know, writing um, or uploading another video that has a lot more details about the final project. But I just want you to see, like, in week seven, now here comes, wow, the really long, detailed rubric, right? Where you're really being graded about the quality of each section. And you obviously want this final paper to be a good score. So now if I go back to the milestone or back to the learning module, in module six, okay, so in this week, you still have that optional opportunity to turn in the paper a little early for feedback um, before you actually turn in your milestone. Um, three this week. To be honest, a lot of people don't really use this early option because this week's grading isn't really that intense, um, but I still recommend you using it if at all possible. So every time so far you've had a chance to turn in your paper early for feedback. Well, if you go to next week when the final paper is due, okay, so I'm going to module seven, one to week seven, Notice there is no optional turning it in for feedback next week, and honestly, it's just because it's a lot to grade. Um, it's pretty much impossible to go through and give early feedback, especially when you've had the opportunity to turn everything in early, you know, as each milestone piece has been developed. So week six is really kind of your last opportunity to get feedback from me because I'm still going to tell you, even though, for example, let me go back to the to the rubric for a second. So even though I'm going to give you like all of your points for basically attaching something that says, you know, discussion, I'm still going to give you a lot of feedback about here's how that piece needs to improve. So this week isn't really about the grade so much as getting it turned into me so that if there are any major issues before the final paper next week, you can get that guidance and that feedback from me. So even though you can technically kind of blow off this week, you're really doing it at your own risk because you won't get another chance to get any kind of early feedback from me before you turn in that final paper. 
And just in case you needed a reminder of how important, you know, this final project is, if you're looking at, you know, these are all the grades that are accountable for the entire course, you know, the final project paper, that's a pretty big chunk right there. So you really want to make sure that this 100 points is a good paper to turn in. So please take advantage of the opportunity you have this week to kind of get a, a no holds barred. Here's the last things that you need to know um, to make sure that you turn in a final project that's good ahead of time. Okay, so last thing I want to mention um, in this particular video, and then you're going to see I have another video uploaded from a colleague of mine um, about the Milestone 3 as well. Um, the, another video is being posted that talks to you about this well-designed experiment portion of the discussion. Um, most people have a pretty good relatively easy time um, with assessing the implications like for example what surprised you or struck you as interesting um, you know what wider relevance or meaning do you draw from the study I mean you're really kind of offering your opinion um, you know why do you think it was important and but the important thing to make sure is that in the final paper it's gonna be important that you explain why you think it's important so just saying hey, this is a really important topic. you got to make sure you follow it up with a because X, Y, Z. Same thing here. Most people have a pretty easy time, you know, talking about, like, what's another question we could ask related to this topic? Because, again, it's more of your opinion. Um, but, again, sometimes people forget to explain why. So the first three parts of the discussion people traditionally have a pretty easy time with. Um, it's this well-designed experiment part that people kind of struggle with. And so you will see another video attached here to the same post. Also, don't forget that there is a sample research paper for you to look at and to use as a sample. If you haven't already looked at it, I really strongly suggest that you do. Um, I've also attached it to this same discussion board here. And as always, I am available to answer any questions for you should you need me. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.